Uh, hello friends uh, today um, in this video today we are going to you know a little bit about active directory domain services and little bit about uh, domain name services dns and uh, dhcp and we uh, we will at the end i uh, will show you the demo on how to install ads to make your uh, windows server 2016 ctp to create a domain controller so what is domain controller a domain controller allows you know network of uh, systems to be managed centrally from single locations right you can have of course more than uh, one domain controller or you can say clustered domain controllers to be able to serve your uh, needs such as if you have more than uh, tens or even hundreds of users uh, or thousands of uh, users are your user computers right so basically your uh, domain controller houses you know database for all the directory um, information uh, but if you need fault tolerance and load balancing of course you should go with um, redundant uh, uh, controllers so okay but there is uh, but this is not it but there is uh, more to this uh, active directory uh, like uh, read only domain controller site site links catalog you know bridge heads and all that uh, uh, at DHCP let's talk a bit about DHCP so how this uh, DHCP works uh, DHCP is nothing but dynamic host configuration protocol so why do you need uh, DHCP in uh, setting up your uh, domain controller right so basically DHCP gives out uh, IP addresses to your uh, computers in the network uh, from a defined range of numbers uh, that we call it as scope right basically DHCP assigns IP addresses when uh, your system is started say for example uh, you turned on your uh, computer uh, your computer sends you know initially a request called discover or DHCP discover now your router uh, that takes this request and sends this to um, um, to the correct DHCP server right sometimes your uh, uh, your rotary acts as your uh, DHCP server. Now this, uh, the actual DHCP server receives your uh, discover packet. Now and it will check and based on the availability, the server uh, temporarily reserves one IP address for that client and uh, sends it back the offer packet, uh, right, along with your IP address and uh, um, a DNS information, of course. Now uh, your client uh, computer receives this. Um, uh, and uh, it will request the packet, uh, you know, uh, and asking for the server, okay, uh, grant me this uh, IP address uh, for, for me to use, right? Now, uh, now the sen uh, server actually sends this ACK acknowledgement packet, right, confirming the lease for, a, of course, for a period of time. Uh, now, you may ask uh, me, why? Why not uh, as an static IP to my machine? The answer is simple. Uh, think of the situation where... Uh, uh, your network uh, there is one more computer and it's also configured with the same IP address right this create, create, creates conflicts and uh, your service will be lost at the end so that's where uh, DHCP comes into picture right uh, that's what uh, this is basically about down to uh, the DNS part of uh, our domain controller now so the DNS DNS is nothing but you know domain name server uh, basically the functionality uh, of uh, DNS is it maps basically names uh, fully qualified domain names right to your uh, IP addresses it's like it it, it, it is uh, like your uh, you know phone book or your telephone directory uh, DNS uh, necessarily it, it is very necessary because um, um, we people only remember domain names because it is easier for us right so but the computers or your uh, you know, websites actually function based on your IP addresses right uh, because they will have no idea what uh, what is google.com and, and all that they only can you know uh, recognize ip addresses that's what their language is right so so basically when you type a web address right in this example uh, www.google.com so uh, and this request from the from the user it will be sent to the dns server associated with this uh, domain name and that uh, translates it into the uh, mission friendly right that IP address for example uh, it, it it says okay 10.1.0.1 and this is my IP uh, this is the address of IP address of the google.com website right and it directs 
uh, now the user actually directs the internet connection to the correct website based on this uh, IP address, right? Of course, you can have a DNS cluster to maintain this DNS functionality uh, when one fails, right? So, okay, let's uh, go into how to install uh, you know, Windows uh, Server 2016 CTB version on your uh, you know, virtual box on your MacBook Pro. Right. Uh, after that, uh, I I'll install how um, ADDS and then DNS and I'll configure DHCP. And there we move on to the clustering. And finally, we'll uh, install also the SQL Server 2016. Okay, let's start. Thank you. Thank you.